Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing day two operators in C++. So in the previous challenge, we explored how we can use plus as an arithmetic operator to add two integers and two doubles together. So this question will be taking it further by introducing two new arithmetic operators, multiplication and division. So in this case for this task, we are given the meal price, the base cost of a meal, the tip percent, the percentage of the meal price being added as tip, and the tax percent, which is the percentage of meal price being added as tax for a meal. For this task, we have to find and print the meal's total price and round the result to the nearest integer. So for example, if the meal cost is $100, tip percent is 15 and tax is 8, the final result will be 123 and we have to print it out. So the input looks like this. The first line is the meal cost. The second line is the tip percent as an integer. The first line is a double, sorry. And the third line is the tax percent as an integer. And the final sample output in this case will be 15 because of the calculations over here. Basically, rounding after rounding the final results to the nearest integer, we get 15. So that's pretty much it for this question. Before we get started with solving this question, let's go through quickly on the boilerplate that was generated by HackerRank to get in these three lines as uh, integer doubles whatsoever. So in the previous challenge, we learned how we can read in integers and doubles with two methods. The first method is to use a temporary string variable and use that to store the line from C in using the getLine function. And once done, we will convert that to a double or an integer with STOD or STOI. And the second method is using C in directly and just C in the result directly into your integer or your double variable. In this case, HackerRank decided to go with the first approach. So the only difference was that they have this additional left trim and right trim functions. And that's implemented here on line 43 to line 51 and line 54 to line 62. But what both functions are really doing are just erasing all the white spaces on the left and on the right of the string before it converts that to an integer or a double. Pretty much string cleaning. So that's pretty much it. And once they're done, they pass the double mu cost the tip percent in integer and tax percent in integer to the solve method. And our job for this question is to implement line 17 to line 19 to calculate the total meal cost and return them back to the console as a print. So that's pretty much it for this question. Just a little note, notice that this function doesn't return anything. And that's why you can see that there is a void keyword over there to tell us that this function doesn't return anything. So with that, let's get started. Before we implement, I guess it's a good time to introduce and segue to two quirks when it comes to doubles and integers. And here's the quirk. The first quirk is if you multiply a mu cost by, let's say, a double multiplied by an integer, you would get back a double. So in this case, if we run this, we will see that we will get back 1.2. And 1.2, because you can see that there is a decimal place, this is really a double. And this is just to highlight that after we do the calculations where we multiply doubles with integers, because the mu cost is a double, this would be giving you back a double instead of an integer as what was expected by the question. So remember to use the round method to round this to the closest integer. So in this case, round would round this down because it is closer to one to one. So that is for the first concept. The second concept to take note of is if you take an integer and you divide it by another integer, let's say 5 divided by 3, you have probably expected this to return you back 1.67 or a double, but that's not the case in C++. If you run this, we will actually get 1. So 5 thirds is rounded down flawed to 1, so in this case, we will get back 1 as an integer. So what this means is, it is very possible for us to implement an incorrect implementation of getting the total meal cost. And let me show you specifically what I mean by that. So let's say if you have a total meal cost, the total meal cost would be, 
100, 100 plus T percent plus tax percent. And let's say I am careless to divide this by 100 to get like a double with the intention of getting a double from this. And we multiply this by the new cost. For a new C++ programmer, you might have expected this to give you back the correct answer, which is 15. Let's say you round this. And now, if we see out this total mu cost, you might have expected this to give you back the right answer, which is 15. But that's not the case. So if you see the results, you will get back 12, as you see in the console. And that's because this would evaluate to 120, 128 in this case. But 128 divided by 100 would actually give us back 1 as an integer rather than 1.28. So 1 multiplied by mu cost, which is 12, would give us back 12. So that actually is incorrect. So if we are not aware that dividing an integer by an integer would give us back a flawed integer, then we would have made this mistake. So to go about this mistake, what we could have done is to do all the multiplications first before we do the division. So this would ensure that the information in the numbers, this 28 in this 100 tip, would not be lost. So now if we run this, this would give us back the right answer. This was given back 15. Let's submit this. And that's pretty much it for this question. I hope that this question and demonstration was helpful for you in pointing out the two tips regarding multiplying doubles and integers and why we have to use a round function to round that down to an integer and how we have to be careful when dividing integers with integers because that might give you back a flop integer instead of a double. And with that, that's pretty much it for this question. I hope this was useful. If you like it, please give us a like and subscribe and we will see you in the next question.